next on Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. It is possible right now where you're at to declare what you want to see in your life because you are at the beginning of the rest of your life and if you declare it now, it has to manifest. Welcome to Winning with Wisdom, the anointed teaching ministry of Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Not one time has he rejected somebody with faith. There's going to be a release of fresh fire and a spirit of boldness so you can declare the word everywhere you go. Dr. Nasser Siddiqui teaches you biblical principles to lead you out of lack and into God's abundant life of prosperity and success. God is no respect. He never denies faith. Stricken with an incurable disease and then miraculously healed by the power of God. The powerful ministry of Dr. Nasser Siddiqui is equipping God's people with wisdom principles to be successful in every area of life, marriage, family, business, and more. Touching the world, touching lives, touching you. This is Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. It's a joy and a privilege to have you join me today. I'm Nasser Siddiqui, Wisdom Ministries. And you know what? I love to teach the Word every time we get together. The Bible says that God has a plan for our lives. And that plan is a good plan. It's a plan of promotion. Let, let, me, let me go over to Jeremiah. Come with me to Jeremiah 29, 11. Powerful, powerful verse. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, um, God is speaking and he says, I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans of welfare and peace, not of evil, to give you a hope in your final outcome. So what does that tell us? He's got a plan for our lives. He's got a good plan for our lives. And guess what? He's got a plan for your promotion. Yes, absolutely. He's no respecter of persons. If you ever see somebody getting blessed, uh, don't, don't get jealous. Don't get envious. You're in the same line. Remember, he's no respecter. You lift up your hand and say, next. Absolutely. He doesn't bless some and not others. If he says he's got a good plan, he's got a good plan. He saw the end from the beginning. He knows exactly what you need to do to see promotion come into your life. But how does this promotion come? You and I have a part to play in this promotion. It doesn't just come automatically. How many times have you heard, this is the year of promotion, this is the year of harvest, this is the year of this or the year of that, and it's never manifested in our lives. Why? Well, we think just because God said it, it is automatic. No, we have a part to play. How does promotion come? You know, the word supernatural is actually two words, super and natural. When you add God's super to your natural, then something is about to manifest in your life. If we don't do our part, then God can add his super. So what is our part to the promotion? That's what we're going to study today. This has been on my heart to teach because it's time for Christians to explode, to excel, to be promoted, businesses to be promoted. If Who should be the top athletes? Christians. Who should be the top people in business, arts, media? Christians. You've got the Holy Ghost in you to guide you and direct you. Oh, Oh, there's so much more I've got coming up for you in today's message. I want to invite you to join me in a city near you as I travel across the nation sharing the gospel insights that God has deposited into my spirit or join me as I host a wisdom conference every month here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Make your plans now. Visit our website for a complete list of ministry events. Now get ready to hear a powerful message on the keys to promotion. Then I'll be right back to pray with you. And now, today's vital teaching from Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Once you're there, please say amen. Now, this year, we'll read it in just a second. This year is the year of promotion. See, when you see acceleration and restoration, promotion is right behind. This is our time for promotion. This is our time, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you say, but Brother Nasser, you know, people have said this is the year of this and this is the year of that. It didn't manifest in my life. Well, just because that didn't manifest, maybe there's something you didn't do. Uh -oh. Come on, could that be it? Uh -huh. Could that be it? 
Come on. I, I, was, I, was, I was flying uh, 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 one day in the air, and I, I looked out, and the, the whole ground was covered with clouds. You couldn't see the ground. And then finally there was an opening, and I looked at the opening, and, and I said, Oh, Lord, the sun is shining uh, right there, because I could see the trees, and I could see all the, the fields and everything. I said, The sun is shining right there. And the Lord said, No, the sun is shining all over America. Only those there in that opening are seeing the benefit of it. So the sun can be shining all over and you could still be struggling. It could be the year of harvest, the year of overflow, and you could still be struggling. It could be the year of acceleration, the year of restoration, and you could still be struggling. It could be the year of promotion and you could still be struggling. Why? You're out of position. You're out of place. It's time to get into position. When you get in position, you will see this is the year of promotion. This is our time. So how do we get in position? This is what I was studying. Lord, show me what is it that we've got to do. How can we be in the right position so we don't miss our promotion? Several things that he showed me. I, I want you to come with me. Je well, you're at Jeremiah. You're at Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah 29, 11. Are you there? Yes. All right. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's read this first, and then we'll go to the next scripture. Jeremiah 29. You know this verse really well. God says, uh-huh, for I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you. Everybody say, God, God. is thinking about me, and he's got a plan, and he has a plan. For, my life. for my life. Now, what about this plan that he has for your life? Let's find out. For I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans of good, of welfare, of peace, not of evil, uh-huh, uh, uh, to give you a hope in your final outcome. So God's got a good plan. Everybody say, good plan. Uh, how many of you believe God's got a good plan? He's got a good plan for you, but my, my, my brothers and sisters, it doesn't come to pass automatically. If it was going to come to pass automatically, it would have already. But it hasn't come to pass yet. So what does that tell you? There's something we have to do for it to manifest in our lives. And I'm going to give you four things that you need to study and look at real serious. Uh, I'll actually, yeah, okay, I'll go with four, and I may have subheadings as we go down there. All right, everybody say, good plan. Psalms 115. Let's go over there. He's got a good plan. And you've got to get to the point where you just believe the word. Uh, well, you don't know what's going on in my life. That doesn't change the word. Don't matter. You don't know what I'm suffering with. That don't change it. You don't know what trial I'm going through. That don't change the word. It don't change the word. It doesn't change his plan. We've got to go back to the word. Everybody say, back to the word. Back to the word. All right. Psalms 115. Look at verse 12. Once you're there, say amen. The Lord has been mindful of us. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's thinking about you. He's thinking about you and I. He's got thoughts for us. He's been mindful of us. He will bless us. Now, what part of this is confusing? I don't know, but, 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 stop saying but, but, but. Everybody shout, God will bless me. God will bless me. How do you know? Because he said it in the word. At some point, you've got to stop living by circumstance and start living by the word. Yeah, but it's not happening yet. That don't mean it's not going to happen. But if you keep speaking the wrong words, it ain't going to happen. You shut it down right there. So everybody say, God's going to bless me. All right, let's keep reading. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who worship and fear him. How many of you fear the Lord? All right, then he's going to bless you, both small and great. Verse 14, may the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. How many of you are ready for increase? Everybody shout, that's promotion. That's promotion. Ah, my Bible says he's going to give me increase. He's going to give me promotion. It's my time for promotion. All right, he's going to give you increase more and more, you and your children. Verse 15, may you be blessed of the Lord who made heaven and earth. My brothers and sisters, uh, that's real clear. God wants to bless us, doesn't he? He wants to give us promotion. He wants to give us increase. All right, uh, uh, let's go to another one. Uh, God, Isaiah 46.10. Isaiah 46.10. I'm setting the platform for what we're going to study for the next three services. 46.10. Once you're there, please say amen. 46.10. Anything that you're going with right now, anything that you're struggling with right now is no shock to God. It is absolutely no shock to God. Well, I don't care what you, well, my job doesn't matter. But my, my business doesn't matter. 
It is no shock to God. Why? He saw the end from the beginning. That's what Isaiah 46 says. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, I'm reading the Amplified Bible, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that were not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure and purpose. Now, I'm reading the Amplified. Anybody got a King James or a New King James? Here in the front row. What does yours say, Greg? It says, declaring the end from the beginning and De from ancient times. Declaring the end from the beginning. Bill, what version have you got? And what does New American Standard say? Declaring the end from the beginning, from ancient times, things which I have... Declaring the end from the beginning. Troy, what version you got? You got the same one, Amplified? All right, what version you got, Joe? Same one, King James. King James, what have you got? Kelly? NIV. All right, what does it say in NIV? I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times. I make known the end from the where? Beginning. Huh, what version you got, brother? King James? King James. Now, I want to bring something out that I never saw before. This one said declaring. This one said declaring. This one said declaring. This one said declaring. This one said make known. So somebody is opening their mouth and saying something. Watch this. Declaring what? The end. Declaring what? Declaring what? Yeah. From when? So that means it is possible right now where you're at to declare what you want to see in your life because you are at the beginning of the rest of your life and if you declare it now, it has to manifest. Oh, come on. Come on now. So my question to you tonight is what are you declaring? Because God literally spoke the end at the beginning. That's why he knows what's going on. He spoke it. When we want to see our lives change, guess what? First thing we got to do is we got to declare the end from where? You don't declare the end when you get to the end. Oh, come on now. Well, when it gets good, I'll say it gets good. Oh, there, now you're declaring the end from the end. You're not supposed to declare the end from the end. You're, come on. You're supposed to declare the end from the what? And today is the first day of the rest of your life. Turn to your neighbor and say, this is your beginning. So we're going to have to open our mouths and we're going to have to declare something of what we want to happen. Guess what I'm saying? This is my year of promotion. I just got back. They wanted me. They just called me a week ago and said, would you come to Pastor Benny Hinn's meeting and teach there? I said, well, I'll have to fly in and fly back out. That'd be fine. Yeah, but I got these requirements. That'd be fine. Whatever you need, you got it. But I need an hour and a half to teach. That'd be fine. Whatever you need, you got it. They would not let me leave without promising to come back and speak again. Everybody shout promotion. promotion. Now, why is that promotion happening to me? I was declaring the end from the beginning. Are you getting this now? Come on. I'm saying some things. And that's why they're manifesting. Because I actually believe it. I believe favor follows me everywhere I go. I don't go anywhere without goodness and mercy. They're with me everywhere I go. I take the twins with me, put them in my suitcase, carry goodness and mercy everywhere I go. And favor is there all the time. I get favor all the time. Why do you do that? Because I declared the end from the... I, I, promotion. This is the year of promotion. Already in January, it started. I'm seeing promotion happening like you would not believe. Why? I declared the end from the... So the first thing we've got to do is find out what are we declaring. Because if you're not declaring what you want the end of this year to be like, it's not going to manifest. Amen. Amen? You, mean, you mean I can actually say something? And because I say something, it has to manifest? You didn't know that? 
Come over here to Job 22, 28. Declaring the end from the beginning. Somebody is speaking something at the beginning. My brothers and sisters, it is time. We get this thing right. I'm declaring it's going to be the greatest year. Year of promotion. It's going to be awesome year. But I, you say I can actually do that? Oh, yeah, come on. Job 22, 28. What does the Bible say? At the end of the day, my brothers and sisters, don't ever follow a man. I said this in Benny Hinn's crusade this morning. I said, don't you, Benny, he's a wonderful guy, and I love him dearly. Pastor Benny, I called him in front of everybody. He's a wonderful guy, I love him dearly, but don't you ever follow Pastor Benny. Don't you ever follow Brother Copeland. Don't you ever follow Brother Hagin. Don't you ever follow me. You follow the word. Man can't save you, heal you, deliver you, or set you free. At the end of the day, you stay with the word. Right, Bill? The word, you can't fail. Amen? All right, did you find the word? Job twenty two twenty eight. Look at this. You will also decide. The Amplified Bible says, decide and decree. Well, I decided I'm having a year of promotion. Amen. Whatever you decide will not manifest till you decide and decree. Not just talk about it once a year. Every time people talk to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm having a great year. What kind of year? You, I'm having a great year. This is my year of acceleration. This is my year of restoration. This is my year of promotion. I, I'm getting favor everywhere I go. How is that happening to you? I've been talking like this for a while. And I won't let nothing else come out of my mouth. I'm going to decide what kind of year I'm going to have. We're going to decide it this weekend, what kind of year we're going to have, and then we're going to start decreeing, and it's going to, it has no choice. But you mean if I just decide and talk about it, it's going to happen? Keep reading. You will decide and decree a thing, and it shall be established. You know, the word shall is the strongest word in the English language. It does not mean maybe. It does not mean perhaps. It does not mean if God's in a good mood. It does not mean if there's no recession. Uh, uh, uh. Whatsoever you decide and decree, it has no choice but to manifest. Are you getting a hold of this? Oh, it's, 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 turn to your neighbor and say, it's my time. Oh, yeah, it's my year of promotion. I'm going to see some promotion come into my life. Amen? We're going to decide and we're going to decree. But, Brother Nassau, I got laid off. I don't care. You decide and decree. Yeah, but my business is shut down. I don't care. You decide and decree. Yeah, but I've seen a down in my business. I don't care. You decide and decree. Well, but, 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 Brother Nassau, I didn't get that job. I didn't get that promotion. You decide and you decree. At some point, we got to draw a line in the sand. And say, if the word says it, that's all that's coming out of my mouth. I ain't going to say nothing different. You can't keep speaking your problem and wonder why the solution doesn't manifest. Amen? I, I, I know, you know, you probably heard some of this stuff before. But you know what? We need it over and over and over again. You know why? Because the world hits us every day. Negativity, CNN, constantly negative news. I don't watch CNN, I don't watch the news, I don't watch Fox News. You know what? The things happen. I didn't know anything about Haiti until three days later. Somebody says, oh, isn't that terrible what happened in Haiti? And I, I felt embarrassed. I said, what happened? My brothers and sisters, listen to me. Whatever happened in Haiti, happened in Haiti. You couldn't have stopped it. And you can't do nothing about it. Except you can send them some money, and I, I encourage you to do that. Amen? But you know what? If all you hear is negative things, and it enters your ear gate, how are you going to have a positive life? You can't affect what happened in Haiti, but it can affect you. So at some point, we've got to turn that stuff off. Amen? Now, if a brother is struggling, I'm going to help him. You, you bet I'm going to help him. But you know what? I don't need negative stuff feeding my ear gate all day. When I go into Dallas to change planes, I deliberately talk to John. He's my assistant. I deliberately walk away from the TV, the TV screens. I don't want to know. But you know what's going on? No, I don't want to know. But I can tell you what's going on in this book. I can tell you what God's up to right now. I can tell you what he's going to do this year. I can tell you all of that. The Holy Spirit's showing me things to come. 
That's the only TV I want to watch is the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. See, now you're going to see promotion. Why? Because the Bible says if you decree, guess what? It will be established. Amen. All right. It will be established. All right. Genesis 6, 14. Now, all of this is just my introduction. I haven't gotten to the message yet. I'll tell you when I get to the message. Hopefully, I'll get to the message before we finish tonight. This is just exploding on the inside of me. I broke it down into four parts, and I'm going to give you those parts now. It doesn't have to be. You know one thing about promotion? It doesn't have to go to one. It can go to all. God is no respecter of persons. Favor is no respecter of persons. Favor is a respecter of obedience. Amen? When you obey the word, when you believe the word and obey the word, it has no choice but to work in your, work in your life. My brothers and sisters, yeah, it's okay for you to say that, Brother Nasty. You got the wisdom center, and you're on television, and you got this, and you got that, and everything is successful for you, but you don't know my position. Guys, you have no idea where I came from. Kelly knows. You remember where I came from 15 years ago. We ate ramen noodles every day and macaroni and cheese every day. I hate macaroni and cheese. If you invite me to your house, please don't cook any. <laughs> he thought I loved it, because every time he came to my house, there's Glenda and Terry. Hey, Glenda, you remember. You remember they were coming to my house. I mean, it was so small, you could reach out and touch all the walls at the same time. But you know what? I decided I'm not going to stay there. And when I made a decision, I decided to start decreeing. And now you see the result of what I decided and what I decreed. And this is just the beginning. Buddy, we, we, we're just at the bottom of the mountain. You see where we're going to be five years from now. You see where we're going to be. I mean, look at where we come in 10 years. You see what's going to happen in the next 10 years. Oh, yeah, there's at least 25 mm, or 30 more good years for me to preach the gospel. And by the way, after that, I may ask for some more. I'm going to 120. Anybody want to come to 120 with me? I, I, I'm going to 120. I'm not going to stop at 60, 70, 80, or 90. I haven't even gone halfway yet. Come on. Amen. You know, I'm going to, when I get to middle age, I'll tell you, but I'm not there. My friend, God has always had a plan for your life, and it's a good plan, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. We found that out in Jeremiah 29, 11, but you have a part to play. This is your time of promotion. This is the time things start to change in your life. But what is your part? What is it that you and I have to do? hope you've learned a little bit, but there's so much more. I want to bring all this teaching to you. How do I walk in promotion all through this year? Wouldn't that be absolutely awesome to get your promotion this year. If you want to learn more, you need to order this incredible series. The Keys to Your Promotion is packed full of teaching. Six CDs for a ministry love gift of $30 or more. In this series, you're going to learn promotion comes because of what we do, not because of what God does. Favor and promotion are not respecters of persons. How to position yourself for promotion. Diligent, excellence, and faith are critical to your promotion and much, much more. Call the toll-free number. Write to me uh, at the address on your screen or order online. Here is my announcer to tell you more. The time is now for promotion in every area of life. Promotion doesn't come from what God is going to do. Promotion comes from what you are going to do. Position yourself for his plan, purpose, and promotion. You can't pray for promotion, speak for promotion, and do sloppy work. Is it okay to talk like it is? Your promotion is waiting on you. God can give you favor and promotion any time he wants, but he can't do it with the wrong words. Get this powerful six CD set by calling 1-888-947-3660 or visiting us at wisdomministries.org. Don't walk like the world and act like the world and wonder why the kingdom isn't working in your life. Your promotion is waiting on you. Wisdom Ministries is dedicated to reaching people, changing lives, and equipping God's leaders. We've been reaching the world with biblical wisdom principles for success 
for over a decade. We are looking for thousands of partners to help us reach millions of people all over the world. You can help us with this task by becoming a covenant partner. Wisdom Ministries is equipping God's leaders with wisdom. Visit our website and become a covenant partner today. Wisdom University Online offers the opportunity for individuals to start or finish their undergraduate, graduate, or doctoral degrees at a reasonable cost. Wisdom University is accredited and accepts transfer credit from colleges, universities, Bible schools, and institutes. Wisdom University Online offers courses that are 100% Word and only the Word. Sign up now for our featured courses. Wisdom University Online, taking your dreams to your destiny. So what is it that you need for promotion? Time and time again, we see the Bible that when faith connects with God's anointed power, promotion comes. I hope you get this teaching into your spirit. It's all here in my series, Keys to Your Promotion, available on six CDs for a ministry love gift of $30 or more. Call, write, or order online. I know it'll be a great blessing to you, so make sure you get your copy today. I trust you've been obedient to the prompting of the Holy Spirit to sow a seed into Wisdom Ministries. When you release the seed from your hand, your harvest is released into your life. The harvest you'll never see is the seed you've never sowed. Your gift helps me take this ministry outreach all over the world, imparting godly wisdom and sharing the gospel that Jesus does save, heal, and deliver. You know, when you want something from God, God wants something from you. Your move depends on what you do. God has given you seed. That's why it says God gives seed to the sower, not to every Christian. Why? Because it's the seed that brings the harvest into your life. God has given you seed right now, but a farmer never gets seed to hang on to seed. Seed is for the purposes of planting. Ask the Lord for the breakthrough you need right now in your life. The promotion. You say, I want promotion. What seed is going to bring it? And then I ask you to sow that seed. Luke 6.38 says, the measure you give determines the measure that comes back. Get a promotion into your life depends on you obeying God and sowing the right seed. I want to pray with you. I want to send also to you um, a free magazine. It's packed with testimonies that will help you. Call the number on the screen. Go online. Request your free copy. It's free when you order today's series. Let's pray now. I thank you, Lord. We come into agreement for the promotion for those that are watching me right now. As they sow the seed into this ministry, I release my faith with theirs for the 30, the 60, the 100-fold return on that seed, which children of faith. We believe we receive when we pray, and we seal it with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. I so enjoy ministering to you on this weekly program, and i really love to see you in person. Why don't you come join me in a city near you? Or come to one of our Wisdom Conferences. Visit our website for a complete list of ministry events. And don't forget to send me your prayer request and your praise reports. This teaching is in its entirety on our website, wisdomministries.org. Join me next week right here, Winning with Wisdom. And don't forget, a friend. Make your plans to join Dr. Nasser Siddiqui for a life-changing time together in a city near you. Join us again next time and tell a friend to watch Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, Tulsa, Oklahoma.